Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at the disassembly process of the MI Electric Toothbrush T100. And after that, we'll be doing a real life review. We'll be talking about what to expect from this and who should be buying this. So uh, I've been using this from Jan. Uh, so it's been six months uh, that I've been using this. And finally, it has gone bad. So it stopped working. So we'll be talking about what problems can you get uh, with this, uh, whether this is completely waterproof, whether water goes in, whether the motor goes bad, whether the battery goes bad and what all issues can you face and how to fix them. So we'll be looking at that in this video. So let's go ahead, see the disassembly process and then talk about the rest of the things. Let's go. Okay, so you've seen the disassembly process. Now let's talk about what happened in the video and uh, let's talk about the rest of the things. So basically, uh, this is the tube in which the entire mechanism goes in. So it has two slots here. So the first one that you see over there, that is for this part, for the entire mechanism. The second one is for this one, which is the cap, which goes in and then uh, the rubber seal over here actually seals it. So uh, one doubt that I had before was that uh, my uh, toothbrush has gone bad because the seal might have gone bad and water must have gone in because there are two seals, one on top, which is this one and one at the bottom which is this one so something must have gone bad and uh, water must have gone in but no there was no water at all so the seal was pretty good so the only problem i had was opening this up now when you open it up to remove this you have to put some tool which will go through the side and then pull it out so that will leave a mark and it will break the body a little bit so i actually broke this so anyways that's how we opened it up then this is what we see we see a battery which is uh, 350 mh so it's a 350 mh uh, battery it's actually quite small so if uh, you've seen my uh, disassembly videos for the mi trimmers in them the battery is much bigger a little more longer it looks like there was space for two batteries uh, they put one over here maybe the uh, higher version has two batteries that's why the slot over here so this is completely empty so you have the battery here you have the motherboard here so over here you have the power on off and the uh, speed selection so the fast one and the slow one so that's it that's all that you have here let me just switch this off 
So right now it is functioning properly. The entire thing is functioning properly. The only problem is that the motor is gone. Now that you've seen it from inside, uh, let's talk about who should be buying this, what are the limitations and what you should be taking care of. So one thing I've realized, the most delicate part of this entire toothbrush is the tip itself. So the tip uh, has the motor and the motor is very delicate. You see how small this is and uh, the mechanism can break very easily. If you hit it, uh, it might break. So make sure you do not hit the top part the tip part anywhere uh, I uh, was trying to make this work it was going on stopping I was hitting it uh, on the wall and it was working and then stopping and then I was going on hitting it that's how I spoiled mine uh, don't do that don't hit this part if you really want to hit maybe hit the body part not the uh, top one uh, but that's all that I've actually noticed everything else works fine I'll be actually converting this into LED torch now uh, because I still have the power the motor is gone but I can put a LED here paste it over here and then use it as a two powered LED torch so anyways so that's what you can do with this uh, that's what you can expect with this uh, now who is this for so it's not going to behave like a regular toothbrush uh, i do like this it actually cleans your teeth very well uh, but for some people the vibration is too much for them they don't uh, like the vibrating uh, toothbrush vibrating in your mouth and that vibe that sensation if you have delicate teeth uh, sometimes the vibration is too much for you so uh, that's something that you have to keep in mind now it's not too expensive for 6.99 it's actually not that expensive you can buy it buy it try it if you don't like it don't use it so uh, that's it that's all that i can think about right now if there is any doubt uh, please comment or uh, message me my information is available in the description and at the end of the video so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe with the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video Bye bye